Hello everyone, let's now talk about the next integration technique which is SAP DXC stands for Direct Extractor Connection. SAP DXC supports both inbound and outbound integration. It only works in asynchronous mode. SAP DXC can be used in two scenarios. It provides SAP HANA with out-of-the-box foundational data models based on SAP Business Suite. And SAP DXC also provides data acquisition method to load the data from SAP Business Suite into SAP HANA. As depicted below, in SAP HANA side, a in-memory DSO is used to load the data from SAP Business Suite. DSO stands for Data Source Object. When do we use SAP DXC? SAP DXC can be used in the following scenarios. We can use DXC for real-time data replication. We can use it for big data analytics. We can also use it for data warehousing solution and data migration and data reporting. Some of the key advantages of SAP DXC are we can use the pre-existing foundation data models of SAP Business Suite. SAP DXC provides semantically rich data from SAP Business Suite to SAP HANA. DXC reuses existing property ETL mechanisms that are built into SAP Business Suite. And another main important advantage is it supports changed data capture for Delta data handling. Let's now see how SAP DXC works internally. For example, you have been using SAP Business Suite for a long time and you recently provisioned a SAP HANA box for reporting purposes. With SAP DXC, you can expose all the data models that are available in SAP Business Suite to SAP HANA and you can load the data from SAP Business Suite to SAP HANA directly. For this data exchange, SAP DXC uses HTTPS protocol. As you can see in the diagram, SAP HANA uses in-memory data store object to capture the data from SAP Business Suite. Let's now have a quick recap quiz. Do you need VW on SAP HANA to use SAP DXC? What type of DSO that SAP HANA uses for SAP DXC communication? Let me know your answers in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.